Ben Volan writing in the Globe over the weekend. If the Pats stay at three and draft May, then it seems all but certain the Cardinals will draft Marvin Harrison Jr. at four to give Murray an elite receiver. But the Patriots wouldn't mind trading out of number three. Good job, Ben. <laughs> and I've got my eye on the Bears at number nine, who seem like they want to make a big splash and be the talk of the NFL this year. The way to do that, trade up and get Marvin Harrison. The Bears are already drafting Caleb Williams at number one. And what better way to create excitement than get the best quarterback and receiver in one draft? The Bears don't have a second round pick, but I wonder if number nine, number 75 and multiple picks next year, first and a third, would be enough for the Patriots to make a swap. I think the Patriots would be much more comfortable taking McCarthy at nine while adding an extra draft pick or extra draft capital than they would taking May or McCarthy at number three. Let's heat check that. That's presented by Eastern Propane and Oil. They're in your neighborhood. Okay. I don't know why that's a heat check. I don't know. The Bears trading up for Williams might be kind of hot. But I only had such a hot take to say that the Pats uh, – or more comfortable taking McCarthy at nine than Drake May at three. What if they no, don't? What check. if they don't love Drake May? I was going to say that's not a heat check. Maybe they, like we've we've already talked about them. They like McCarthy, uh, and and the Patriots aren't the only team that like McCarthy uh, that likes McCarthy. Uh, a lot of them do. The Commanders like McCarthy. Um, I, I think uh, other teams and not the Bears at, at uh, the Giants don't, but. There are other teams in the top 10 that like them in the top 12. Minnesota does. Denver does. So it's not a surprise that they like them. I think the heat check is the Bears, you know, trading with the Patriots to get Marvin Harrison at three. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I just think if you're trading down to nine to get him, you don't really like him that much. Like if you really liked him, you just take him at three. And you don't risk losing out on him by moving down to nine. Okay, so and this so, argument I never got. I think you, you and others used it on Mac Jones. Like, if they really liked him, they wouldn't have just waited for yes. him at 15. Why would you draft someone at 11 if you can draft him at 15? How because, does that make any effing sense? Because you want to make sure you get him. You don't oh, know okay, you're going to get him. You don't know you're going to get him when you're sitting there at 15. You know what if where you he's do? going. What if you do? So okay. Someone who has command of the board knows who's going yeah. and knows where they can draft I the just guy. think that means you don't love the player because you're not That's going ridiculous. to go get him. Why, why is that ridiculous? If I know a player I love is available Fugger. at 20, the Mac one, I'm going to trade up to 12 even though I know I don't <laughs> need to. I can get him at three. Just to make people think I really like him more. I'm That's gonna ridiculous. I'm going to get him at three <laughs> to move down to nine to pick up what? What if he's available at nine? If you know he's going to be there at nine. What if he goes at seven? Now you look like a chump. But if you know he's available at nine you and you know. can orchestrate that, some people do. The Ellie people Wright. who, Mike, you've been in the draft right, rooms. Right, they, right. They get people that are dialed in know who's going Bell where. On this. If, you, if, you, if, you've got a good, if you've got a good intel that you're going to get the guy. Yeah, they have and good then, intel. And then, and, there's some, and then there's some common sense here. I mean, there's some common sense involved where you know at four, uh, the Cardinals aren't. aren't you know at 11, 12, and 13, they're not coming up for McCarthy? You know that? Jones, but if, you're if you can to, draft someone, but if you're at nine, but if you're at nine, you don't have yeah, to worry about eleven, twelve, thirteen. You get the guy you like, and you get an extra pick. That's not a hard concept. I, I get the concept. I just don't know how you know you're getting the guy at nine. These guys know they're getting the guy at nine. I don't believe that. I mean, they could. Yes, they absolutely could. Let's take a look at the Ford Big Board, built for America, mm. built Ford proud. Here's Chris Sims's mock draft. He Williams, <laughs> Daniels. He does not like Caleb Williams, as he you does. will see, because he's got JJ. No, McCarthy. he likes Williams. He doesn't like he doesn't Drake like May. May. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He doesn't like Drake May. J.J. McCarthy going three, okay, Harrison, Alt, Malik Neighbors, okay, the, all the da-da-da. Blah, blah, blah. Now we get to 11, and the Patriots with Drake May. Wow. Okay. Now that it's, would, okay. It's time for a heat check. It's brought to you by Eastern Propane and Oil. It's in your neighborhood. Why is that a heat check, Mike? I, I'm going to tell you, it, it's, a, it's a heat check that's, that I'm intrigued by because I'll take back everything. If Drake May is their guy and they can trade back, pick up capital, and still get their guy at number 11, which I'd never even imagined that Drake May would be there for anybody, the Patriots or anybody else, and pick number 11, because I actually like him. So I like Drake May. I say, I don't understand why they don't like him. Jones would hate this. I mean, I don't like this. No. But, but, <laughs> it's but ridiculous. Jones, they got him. They, they got, got the guy and they got scenario, extra picks. They get yeah. extra picks and they yeah, get their Christmas franchise draft, quarterback. They got him. In the real draft, if they move to 11, I'm going to scream my head off. And if they, if they have their fingers crossed for Drake May. What if they still get the guy? Jones? Well, that, then I'll tip my cap to him if and when they get him. I don't think they're going to get him. So okay. I'll tip my cap but, in the past. But, yeah, but. Let me just. This yep. will be brilliant. If they, okay. if they pull this off, this You like Drake May, I love right? Drake May. Yes. Okay, you love him. Yeah. If they can get him at 11 and get an extra first round pick and more. You got to love uh -huh. him.
you will praise them for it and say, yep. good move, that sure. was the right on move. On Friday, I'll say it. I'm not saying that right now. Yep. Okay, well, if that's they fine. Get fine. fine. On, fr- on okay. Friday, I'll come say it. Yep. Fine. Great. They were right. They had command of the board. Good. The whole league hates Drake May. Good. In the meantime, I don't want them to risk it. I would, I'd take him at three. Got it. Now, now Sims, I, I know Sims, and he's very good at – he knows how to be a hot taker and do the debate thing. He does it very well. He embraces it, okay? He's not above it. He's had good history with these quarterbacks. But he also, but he also knows people in the NFL. So I'm wondering what he's hearing about Drake May. He, like, it seems like McCarthy has – McCarthy hype went off the, off the rails but then dialed back a little bit. But people are still hot on McCarthy. They look at him as a top 10 pick. He's probably going to go into top 10, top 12. Drake May, I feel like, is cooling – a little bit. I thought the spot was here for the Patriots. It sounds like it's not. I and just, I wonder if he's hearing that more people are just right. like don't want it. They don't have the patience to wait for Drake May. Is, I would, but maybe maybe the league doesn't. It's a big belief in mine. No one knows anything and everybody's wrong. Okay? Our boards are different than the boards that are inside the room. Sure. Right? Exactly. So just because every mock effing draft and every dorky, okay. you know, Let draft you analyst an Jones yeah. says Drake May should go three. What if he's not three? What if he's 11 on these boards here? Like, what if that's the case? Okay. Then, I, look, I, I just wouldn't – you don't like him that much. If you have him at 11, you just don't like him that much. So, to me, don't tell me you have full conviction if you're going to risk missing out on him. Here's what I would say. Uh, the idea would be Ainge, right? Ainge moves from one, he gets Tatum at three. Good Brilliant one. trade, right? Good one. Except the pick ended up being Romeo Langford. So he should have just stayed in retrospect at one and taken Tatum and not risk he missing out on just, He should have just taken <laughs> – he should have just not pulled that trade, meaning getting the guy and getting that extra first-round pick. Yeah, well, I'm saying in he retrospect, knowing pick. what we know, now well, uh, fast pick. forward. No, 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 no. Langford he, sucks. So he missed on so the he should have just stayed at one. He, should have just, he shouldn't have pulled that trade off. What if the Lakers took Tatum at two? He, he knew they weren't. Okay. He knew that ball was going to he go to the Lakers. He also thought Langford was going to be good. Okay, so, well, he yeah. missed on a draft pick, which is different than knowing what someone's going to take. And, and, and the other thing is uh, – You are. Is, you are. Even, it, I mean, even by you, my – I mean, I, it, I, it's I, so I, bad. Even I look at you and go, how do you, how do, you do this? Why? You just, do, you just have no conviction. You're just like, ah, nobody knows anything. Just move back more picks. Yes, like, it's I, the and, draft. And, okay, no. the draft is ridiculous. I thought you used to rip Bill all the time for moving back. Now you want to, now your captain move back. You want, now you're just more swings, more picks. That's what Bill did for years. You ripped that. I on know these, you ripped on that. On these stupid quarterbacks, I'm okay with it. But the other thing is, Jones, not that they don't want them. Not that they don't want them. I, I think they have conviction, but they know it's going to take a little bit on Drake May. So it's not like, oh, he's ready right now. I think that's the only hesitation on May. If you don't have time, if you don't have time to wait, and maybe the Patriots don't feel like they have time, you go with somebody who's ready to go right I now. Mean, Drake May is going to take a little bit to be ready, even though I'm a fan. I love it. Turns out Danny Ainge was wrong with that move. All right, Greg Bedard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we go, another one. Right. Heat Greg check brought to you by Eastern Propane and Oil. Adam Jones is in your Out neighborhood. Out of the way, Bedard. Jones is in your neighborhood. Moving Bedard's over. trade down. Okay, here's his trade down, then trade back up idea. Again, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I have to. Okay. Right, Patriots here. trade three to the Vikings <laughs> for 11-23, and then in 2025, a first and a third round pick. Not bad. Then the Patriots trade 11 and the 25 first to the yeah. Cardinals, back up to four. four. Okay. So what do they net out of that? I can't even keep track. They net something. Yeah, you like it. A and they get the pick. player yeah. that they want. It's time for heat check. It's brought to you by Eastern Propane and Oil. <laughs> so They're in your this, neighborhood. I'm so, not heat checking. I'm waving my nose at this one. Why? So I'm, I'm a Falcon on this one. Rob Buckins. So what is the net? What's the net result? <laughs> <laughs> I believe the net, the net is a first round pick. Okay, they get a first round. Okay, next they get, year. They get a, they get a, but they traded it. Didn't well, they trade it to get back up to four? No, just go with it. All right, so they, they can go from three to four. Get the quarterback they want and pick up a first round pick. So yeah, the net is a first round pick this year. First round pick this year. Boom. First round uh, yeah, this sure. year. Again, on Friday I'll okay. tip my cap. In the meantime, I don't trust them to do it. I'll just I'll keep saying okay. it. So it's that's a, I will okay. I will tip my cap on Friday if they execute it. Fine. That's different, and I think that is legit. In all seriousness, Elliot Wolf right now is going to m- manipulate the board and know exactly what it because the key is Mike having people in the league that you trust, where you can call someone in Pittsburgh and say. You're going tackle here, right? And you're, you're good enough with that person right, exactly. that they say, yeah, or whether it's an agent or a player, you know, like you've that, – that's how, that's how you get command of the board. That's right. You get some buddies. You get some buddies in the league. You got a few people that you trust that you've done some deals with, minor deals. Mm-hmm. And so when something major is uh, on the board, you know you can make that happen. So Elliot Wolf, I'll give him credit for this. He's got no draft record on his own whatsoever. But he was in Green Bay – 
for a long time. He was Real in quick. Cleveland and in the Patriots. So he's got some sources around the league. He should I get, I have guess. a good idea of what's happened. Let, Robbie, let, let's do this real quick. Let's see if Jones bites on this one. Okay, there, there is one more. And Mike Reese. Oh, let's hear it. Even brought this up with Toucher and Hardy this morning. So when Reese is floating it, maybe, maybe. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, the Bryce deal. Oh, wow. uh, the Bears to move from one to nine last year for the Panthers getting Bryce Young. They got back two firsts, two seconds, and DJ Moore. Okay. So what if to go from three to 13, the Patriots get two firsts, two seconds, and Devontae Adams, Jones? Yeah. No. Why? What? Because I want the quarterback. Because what good is Devontae <laughs> no, Adams I, if dude. your quarterback is Jacoby Brissett? Okay. Stop Aiden it. O'Connell? What Stop good is he? It. Okay. Stop. You draft Penix at 13. Come on. Okay. You do whatever you got to do. I, look, I don't hate and Michael listen. Penix. Okay. Okay. But he's a big drop. In my estimation, is this he? Is just, to me, yeah. he's a big drop from May. I like Penix. I have Penix fourth. I like Penix more than McCarthy. But I would rather take May at three. Until you find a quarterback, it's worthless. So I don't want Devontae Adams with the Aiden O'Connell equivalent. Okay. It's no so good. So you think the gap between May and Penix is so great that it's not worth an extra first-round pick, two extra seconds, yes. and that? Okay. Well, that's fair enough. I'm telling you. I mean, I don't agree with that, but I would, I would take that deal because what we so, – so the Bears made that deal with Carolina. What happened? They're sitting here at number one right now. And the Raiders aren't great. They're still going to stink. They're right, right. They're going to stink. So th- that first round pick next year may have you back in the first because in the top five. They won't again. have Devontae Adams. The rookie mm-hmm. quarterback's either going to suck or not be ready, but, you know, all likelihood. Rookie quarterback coaching his first full season. And then next year we'll do uh, the draft shows again, and Felger will be like, trade back and picks. <laughs> Nobody knows. I don't want the quarterback. She's going to do two, that again in a year. No, no. But you're going to have two of them. You're, you have two you're picks. drafting the quarterback this year. It's just not the guy that's at the top of your stupid mock draft on the website, which uh. are always wrong. Right. Don't you get it? I know.